Department Shea Bear 1000 here. Uh, been having some trouble with this ice maker, so we're going to put a new one in it. So stick around. Okay, so the problem we're having with this thing, I know it's going to be kind of hard to film this, but the problem I'm having with this is sometimes this thing the bar will get stuck up and it'll like halfway and it'll make a weird noise like it's trying to do something and it can't what's going on I think is there's a heater underneath these a little heating element here's the new one uh, right here what that does is when you're when this fills up with water the water goes in here okay it fills up with water that rod will go right in here and there's a switch right here that shuts it off when you flip it all the way up it fills up with water and this is like on a timer okay and it comes around when that freezes you know the water would be hard to get out of there so what it does is when that's when that's ready to push the ice out what this does is spin around and push push the ice out when it does that the heating element starts heating up and heats up this bottom here and the sides a little bit just enough to where it just pushes the ice out real easy now uh, I think the heating elements going bad I'm not sure it's still making ice but some days it's really loud uh, this is a new one her dad bought it because he ordered it online when he was still alive of course and uh, the problem was that he it quit making ice so he ordered a new one and one day they went out and it had started making ice again so he just thought he'd wait so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and replace it now since there's an issue with it so um, I've, re I've replaced similar ones I've never done this one this is a Maytag Plus uh, I'm not sure the model number it's a kind of a weird design but I want to go ahead and take an ice tray out of there so you guys can see that and so I can work in it and let's see what it involves on taking this thing out. I got ice all over the floor. And that's another thing it kept going is filling up with ice. In the summertime, this thing cannot keep up. Because you know we use a lot of ice. But like now it just it you know it just fills up shoot and that arm does not you know won't go all the way up to shut it off so um, what I'm gonna have to do I think I don't know if this just lifts out or what but I'm gonna have to uh, I gotta get behind here and unplug this and I think this just pops off here um, so I'm going to look at the new one and see how it is. And then, uh, it's right here. And then I'll uh, get back with you. Okay, so this is, looks like it's going to be a pretty easy one. It looks like I just lift up. I'm going to go ahead and shut that off so water don't come shooting out at me. It looks like this just lifts up and pops out. So. There we go. Now, I'm going to unplug the wires. And there it is. Now I don't have to worry about the water coming out. See, it's still got water in it. Well, I know you can't see it. It's dripping on me. This just unplugs by squeezing those two things and pulling this out. These wires will get transferred over to the new one. Okay, so let's set this down here on the stove. And we're going to change the veil over and the wire. Let's get you over here on the stove. Okay, so first we're going to take this off. Well, I got this is kind of cool. Take that off and look. It's, it's got a built-in telescoping magnet. That's pretty neat. Uh, this is 5 16 or 8 millimeter. I noticed there was a screw missing inside there. So, uh, it does come with a couple extra screws. And something else over there I didn't see on this on the old one there, but... 
So we're going to put put this on here. It just kind of makes the screws as it goes in, and this thing is kind of crappy. All right, let me go get a, another socket. Tighten that up with. Okay, guys, I just talked to you for about a minute, and I didn't hit record. Uh, it's not a 5 16 it's a quarter inch. So, all right, now, this should just pop off like that. There's a little tab right here. You push that tab in, and this will come out. So, I'm going to do that right now. I'll give you the model number of what this thing is. Uh, down in the down across the screen right now. Push this down as you're pulling it out. There we go. Just like that, all right? Now we're gonna put it straight into the other one. Push it all the way back until it clicks. And it didn't click. All right, get something. This clip has to be moved. This clip here, I'm gonna have to take it off and move it up here, it looks like. See where the different spot it's in. So, make sure that's, yeah, it's clipped in there. All right. This is gonna be this is gonna be great. These things, man, once they clip in there, they're in there, and you'll launch it across the room. Okay, I'm gonna to have to go get a straight screwdriver. Okay, I'm back. Let's kind of open that up a little bit. And then it should come out. Should in theory. There we go, there's that. Now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna squeeze that closed. I'm gonna go get a pair of pliers. I'm all I'm gonna do is squeeze that closed just till it's not up at a, at a slant upwards. See where it's like slanted? I'm just gonna make it straight. Okay, see, I just made this, this part straight instead of going upwards. And I'm gonna put, In here, just tap it on there. Like that. I'm gonna put this up in there. There. Now that's done. It's ready to go on. Here's the new one. The new cover. There's the old cover. There's a subtle difference. This one's kind of more rounded. This one's straight. I don't know if this one. I don't know. Other than that, they're, they're identical. So, let's get the veil changed. This is one of the easiest jobs. Just, uh... Yeah. Yep. 
Okay, so this is for, like, if you go away, all right, you can put that up and it'll quit making ice. Like, right now, it can't make ice anyway because it's unplugged, but it shuts this switch off in here. There's a switch inside here. So, when you pull, pull that up, it turns that little dial, shuts the switch off. It won't let it put, it won't let it make ice or anything, okay? So, I see there's a crack on that. I may have to put this one on it. Um, but, so, but anyway, yeah, I'll probably have to put this one on here. Um, so let's say you go away for a week, you know, you taking your little vacation and you forget to push this up. What this does is the ice will keep making ice and in theory it will push this up and then close it, it shuts it off so that way it doesn't, uh, you know, just to where you open your freezer when you get home and there's nothing but ice in there. But what this one was doing was acting real strange. I mean, it would just get stuck for no reason whether there was ice under it or not. It would make a loud noise, uh, things like that. It looks to me like I'm going to have to change this piece here because this one goes over top goes over top of the, uh, the snout in there so looks like this one is a little different it looks like might be what this is for I don't know not sure what that's for didn't come with instructions I, I figured they've gotten lost Okay, so I'm going to have to shut you off for a minute, do my homework on this, and wait a minute. I'm not. There's a place right here you cut out. You see that? Might be able to break that out of there or cut it out. I'm just going to go ahead and cut that out, and then I'm going to clean this up, and we'll get ready to put it back in. Okay, now to get that this piece off here, there's only two screws in this thing that we're going to take off. There's, um, where is it? This one's a little different. Okay, there's one here. There should be one over here. Maybe it's in there. I don't know. But, uh, my screwdriver here. We'll take this one out first. May need to get a better screwdriver. Yeah, there's one in there. It came out. I'm going to have to get me a better screwdriver. Maybe a little bigger one. Okay, let me get a better screwdriver so I don't strip that out. All right, I almost grabbed this one the first time, but I thought it'd be too big, so I grabbed the other one, but here we go. There we go. I'm going to unscrew this. Now, this should come out. Well, I've got to unplug this again. Hang on. I've got to unplug that again. Now, this will come out. Just like that. Here we go. Actually, I could probably just replace this piece instead of cutting it off, right? Another little tab. Lift up. Like that. So this thing should just uh, make sure it's clean because that's where your water's coming down here. Like 
like that. Now let's put <laughs> What am I doing here guys? I got turned around. Here we go. There we go. See there's the heating element. Plugs in down here. said I'm gonna have to oh I almost forgot the thing the whole reason why we're working on this here we go there we go that's why we had to take it out because that gets flipped in there so all right now just a matter of tightening these two screws up again and I'm going to clean this off real good I'm going to stick it back up in there and plug it back in so hang tight guys okay I know you really can't see real well but I'm going to go ahead and plug this back in I'm going to leave that up so water don't like I said come shooting out at me tube in there. Now it's gonna flip this back up in. Come on. There's one. started I just got to get this one started and the thing about these things every time I hear that pop I think it's breaking because that plastic gets cold you, we all know what happens to cold plastic Let me mess with this some more see what I can do with it all right guys got that up in there I ain't gonna lie to you that was a pain uh, you guys some of you guys have heard my rants those weren't nothing compared to this thing but I got it in there let's put this this on I don't know if the camera can pick that up yeah see it says off and on so, I did get that all cleaned off, but still what I'm going to do is dump that ice out of the tray. There we go. I'm going to put the tray back in, and we're going to let it, uh, we're going to let it do, uh, and then I'll flip that down. We'll let it make some ice and see how well it does. Okay guys, so there it is. We've got it in. I'm waiting. Um, what I forgot to mention is the ice tray has to be 15 degrees, at least 15 degrees before it starts cycling. So, and that is this thing here that notices the temperature, which if you noticed, it's filling up. So it just hit 15 degrees. All right, cool. Um, so I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I was putting that back together, uh, 
this wasn't in there. So once I got it in there and shut the camera off, I looked over. I was like, oh no. So <laughs> I had to take that back off. And I was like, am I missing something? So I looked it up online and I found a video with this exact refrigerator. Refrigerator. And uh, <laughs> this guy's showing how easy it is to take out and to change, just like we did it. And then when he he went to put it up in there, he started fumbling with it, and then it cut to it perfectly in there, and then him putting that bottom screw in. Huh? Press them firmly into place. Snap it into place. And then we can put our quarter in. I was like, yeah, he had the same problem. What it is is you got to get him put up in there, and that one you got to kind of push back a little bit for it to go in to these holes. You got to kind of put it back, push it back, and it'll pop in. That one, you get them started up in there, and you know it's kind of like this, and then you pull it back to you just a smidge, and then it drops in. So have that issue keep that in mind so anyway so I just heard it filling up so that's good I'll have ice in a couple hours if for some reason I don't or it doesn't work then we'll do another video of putting that one back in it <laughs> but I think it'll be fine now uh, I cleaned everything off like I said so I put the ice tray back in you saw that and um, so we'll give it a couple hours make some ice and it should be fine so but uh, anyway guys that's that um, like I said I'll I'll put the uh, the uh, the model number of this refrigerator down the bottom of the screen again in case you missed it um, yeah the doors real weird on it I can show you the door real quick here maybe I got my old one of my old tripods out here um, Like that, kind of. See, it kind of has this, you know. So, uh, but anyway, I'll, I'll put it at the bottom of the screen. And uh, but the, all these ice makers are kind of pretty much the same. They're not real hard to change. Um, if I wasn't filming, I probably would have this done in about ten minutes. So, uh, I was looking online. Somebody said it took them two hours and. I'm like maybe if you're counting once the first tray of ice comes out but what I usually do after I change these see you know I wash them out real good but I, I clean it out with uh, I use some Windex glass cleaner just some, some of this stuff and then I wash that off and then I uh, and then I'll let it run a couple of trays of ice through it then I'll dump them out then it should be good to go um, so there you go Alright guys, thanks for watching, appreciate it, hope this helps someone, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again, and bye bye guys. Did I say Shea Bear the Myth the Main Legend, I'm gone? If not, I'm saying it again. <laughs> we'll see you guys later, bye bye.